guys, welcome to the Just with African Canadians. So I'm Shay, and to my left, Ella, Boma, Darcy, Maya, Shaka, the one and only, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so today's topic is if your significant spouse was going to go on a reality TV show, are you okay with him just doing whatever is necessary to win, or would there be some boundaries that you have to set? Uh, let's start with you. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I think there'll be some boundaries. I don't mind a little flirting, maybe a peck, mm. but mm, I don't think I'll be good with kissing, like sex, or anything else. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't mind you flirting, you know, play the game, but why is about it? You can be mm -hmm. wise about it. Don't what you if know? the flirting leads to something else? Why would it lead to something else? <laughs> because that's, that's where everything starts. No, 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 it's, I it's think that's, that's why it's a game. Though. You shouldn't, yeah. it's a game, that's you shouldn't that's be boundaries. having any feelings for it. It's a yeah. game. Yeah. So you can do it because you know it's a game, you didn't want you to just win, yeah. but then... I think you can tell someone's like emotionally in it, yeah. or if they're just like doing it for the game, and there's always like... That behind you the know, scenes, I was, I was you literally, know? I was literally talking with my friend the other day about like this reality show. I would just find a partner and say, okay, you know, both of us when we use together. I yeah. would both be active or whatever. I would do. Like do you both go on. The yeah. Show? So we know, no, 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 not necessarily. Like if I meet the partner on the show, then I would also say, okay, this is what I plan to do. Like so, we both basically act if possible. But what if that's that, when you meet the partner on the show. Yeah. Like, what if you have a partner outside? No, 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 not a partner. Like. So we're all let's run on the like like reality show, right? Something. So I'll just get like someone that we meet together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. someone that you will like, like to yeah, yeah, and then we'll find that one have yeah, a partner. Like, because I you mean, guys already agreed on that. What do you think? Oh, okay. Do you think? But okay, well, if I have a partner outside, like it depends on like obviously like communication, right? Before you go into the show, what are the things that you can do? What are the things that you can do? Because you can win a reality show without having to flirt or kiss or have sex with anyone, right? So. But like if it's if like the show requires like the game is like you have to kiss this person or whatever cool but like yeah like when you start taking it deeper to like an emotional level where like you're seeking out this person to flirt with them or kiss them or whatever right then that becomes a different thing entirely than just like you know just flirting because you want to get mm -hmm. someone on your team or something yeah. right so I think I think yeah even like same as like like acting if you have a partner who kisses on TV like you have to have that understanding mm -hmm. with your partner that it's just it's nothing. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's just for the, for the game. Yeah. yeah. I feel like life is a museum. I feel like you don't have to pretend like people aren't attractive anymore. Just like, how touchy are you being? How like into it are you? Like, you can tell if somebody's, like I was saying before, like, if there's like a DR room or something, you can tell if they're actually into it or if they're gonna be like, gotta do what I gotta do. If they're in there being like, yeah, she's fine though. That, that's different. Um, I think if there's that communication and you know going in that they're faking it, then you're not gonna be upset about it. Um, I also think it depends on like how serious you guys are like if you're married you're wearing a ring you take it off and everything I think that's like a little disrespectful but I think if it's like maybe a month in that's I don't know that might be sorry different. I just want to touch on that like my thing is like okay maybe maybe this is good like if you're like in a very serious relationship right like why would you like or married why would you go on a show like maybe Love Violet and your Except you're your partner, but say, okay, we know this is different. what the show is about. Yeah. And we know yeah. what we're going into. But then, like, is that thing too hot to handle? Like, brother or too hot to handle? Yeah, too it's hot to handle. Like, like, you know, yeah, or, like, yeah, those yeah. shows where, like, it's evident. Or, like, like survivor, 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 Why would you, show. as a married person, go to the show where you know the chances of you hooking up with someone is high? Yeah. Yeah. That's the perspective. It depends on what, like, the premise of the show is. Yeah, exactly. If the premise of the show is literally just just like love that's messed up yeah. yeah but if the premise of the show is like competing like competitive yeah. level yeah. or like fitness like big brother or survivor yeah. that's yeah. okay yeah. big brother like, you don't have to yeah if you're going to bachelor it's like why are you a bachelor yeah. <laughs> yeah. what about you oh, yeah. what do you think honestly if my husband sleep on a, sleeps on the show sleeps with a lady on the show she don't come back somebody on the show that's disrespectful okay but what if it's not kissing what if it's just like flirtation so I don't care it's touchy touchy touchy. Okay. so so that's if you guys didn't agree before the show before the show exactly. you tell him no flirting at all like why would you be in your right sense and come to your wife it's and a gift so okay, no, 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 because you before okay, he went to the show, the show and guys, guys, that's how, that's you how can go you know you can go on the show and you can win the money 
without having to do anything. Yeah, with them. depends on the show. So I'm not gonna sit there and argue Some with shows. my husband and go on the show and if he requires if he requires you to mm -hmm. to kiss somebody, mm -hmm. why can't you think of something else? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have to Would you let your son go on too hot to handle? Even if the price money was one million. Ah, they might picking like us, so of course you can go to look at the ass. Ah, but so they can look at the ass. 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 First of all, okay, let's not. We have a long time. Wait, 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 I don't want to use let them or allow them, but you were aware. I'm pretty sure if you are in a serious relationship with the person, they told you about the show and how long they're going to be there mm -hmm. and the kind of things that will be done on the show and the things that you should be expecting as a partner. I feel like those are things that should be communicated before the person sure. goes to the show. Mm -hmm. So if something happens, even if it's, if it's something that you may not be okay with or maybe you don't like, I wouldn't just jump into it like, yeah, don't come home. I mean, I would expect an explanation mm -hmm. of yeah. what mm -hmm. exactly happened. Why yeah. did you have to make that move? I'm pretty sure yeah. that you could have been more strategic about whatever you I feel done. like if you do that, you better come home with the money. That's how I feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better move that shit. I swear, <laughs> me too. You, you go that far. You better, you better come home with the money. Oh, yeah. Bring the money home. Otherwise, you'll yeah. Like you're losing the money or you're losing the money. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, if it goes on the show and come home without the money, but even before leaving, you cannot come and sit with me and be telling me, Oh, I'm going to go on the show. Part of my strategy is to. Are you. <laughs> what, what, what? No, you know the show is going on now. I don't, I don't yeah, want to. I don't the show is a show that requires you guys, like, it requires them to be couples. You know there's some shows like that. That literally they kick out people who don't end up being. But the host wants to say, Why are you on there? Like, because what's your money now? What's your point? You're going to agree, okay. Temptations happen, yeah. I might get there, fine. I'm going there just to win. I'll find somebody, I mean, I'll get attracted in a friendly way to somebody, and then mm -hmm. we're gonna flirt. Yeah. But we all know, you'll never be attracted to <laughs> yeah. Before you know it, you're falling for them, then exactly. You're like, like you start flirting, flirting leads to something else. When mm -hmm. you're like, oh, you look pretty, oh, your ass looks bigger today, oh, your boobs are looking ah. old. Oh, oh, no. okay, oh no, that's going to lead to something else, yeah. so you know, you're gonna look good on TV, but <laughs> you, 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 you have to, I feel like you, you yourself should also have your boundaries right that's true the things that you can do or not do like if you find yourself that you're falling for someone right you have to then like recheck yourself and mm -hmm. be like what am i doing right yeah. if your relationship back home is important to you mm -hmm. you have to rein yourself in otherwise you're just going to go off the yeah notes. Or sometimes okay. temptation doesn't make you. What if you do? Like, see, temptation. sometimes you can't resist temptation. You can not let the devil. Yes, so I, think I don't know why anybody says you can't stop flirting and it doesn't have to lead to anything. It's up to you if you want some, some small excuses or like just make sure you're not in situations where you're like exactly. alone with that person exactly. in long periods of time. Like, if where there's where a situation where it's like a group setting where you have to like sleep in the same beds or something, just like joke around and just make sure it's not just you walking toward you know what i mean like yeah. i feel like you can just be conscious of what you're doing and like yeah like if you're if you're flirting in like the go. group setting or whatever but like when you deliberately go out of your way to like mm -hmm. find time alone with yeah that person, you know? and i think what were you saying it was your strategy i think it's different if like you're literally going before the show and being like this is my strategy i'm going in right. i'm gonna flirt heavy or just being like oh this happened this girl is I like feeling me maybe i'll just go with yeah. the flow and like yeah. see what happens because she can get me far in the game but then if they need to cut her i'll cut her kind of thing like i think that's mm -hmm. different I, I think it all depends on the type of the show yeah also. but if it's a show where you know you need to like be in, be in a relationship or you know the crowd expects like all this thing mm -hmm. you can't just be there and say no i'm, I'm just i'm not going to do anything yeah so that's okay okay so yeah. that's it. okay well, i think we've yeah, answered we the so I think we're okay. As I have long a question as... actually. Yes. Yeah. What if um the guy do not have like a um, 
you know, strategy or it's not maybe it went on the show and it got funny. What kind of show? Like whatever show they're going to. Wait, like so, like, like wait, is this like prior to communication or? So no, she's saying that no like, communication. Goes the show. Maybe he just goes on the show. Yeah, it was a show. Okay, he goes on the show, show. show that was something like mm, Love Island or something that you know. Then if you can give a good example, but if it's something like see, Big Brother that you don't need to, and you just happen to have sex, see, mm-hmm. see, that's no story. See, you're going to you 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 should know the premise of the show you're going exactly. on. Exactly. If there's going to be beautiful women on the show, you obviously the temptation is going to be there. Yeah. You are going to be horny. Like mm-hmm. let's not pretend like you just go there as your. So I think I'm gonna allow like your boyfriend husband to do that on the show. I I you can get horny on the show. What you choose to do? Yeah, that is what I would say if, if I was the know. person going on the show and my partner is trying to put his feelings into it. I am going this in this for the win. For the win. Mm-hmm. So either I win it or I don't go at all. Go big or go home. So if I'm going in this show and you have issues about you, because you're insecure or you think I'm gonna flirt or some guys are gonna like me or whatever, I'm going in this. If I was selected and I have to go on this show, then I'll do what I have to do to win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For Simple sure. yeah. That. But then, but then you again, you, you know, you have to have that communication with your exactly, partner. exactly. Like, I will, I will, I will make sure I communicate that from the very beginning yes, with my partner. Yeah. Hey, I'm going in this game, and, and I'm not the expectations, so you better be ready. Yeah, exactly. I might fall with some, I might even kiss him or let him touch my ass, so you better be ready for that. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, so I yeah. think, like, as a whole, I feel like we all feel like as long as we have that conversation beforehand, that, yeah, and that, we go in and do it, even you, you said we. We're gonna have that conversation. Yeah. I don't like it. She yeah. says she and does yes, not right? yeah. So like, yeah, at the end of the day, you, we have to have that communication. We need to know what's ha- gonna happen going in, and then we're cool with it. However, we have that conversation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As long as there's a clear and honest conversation, like, hey, I'm going yeah. on this show. This is well, what's okay. gonna happen. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, end of story, communicate with your partner before you yes. go on. Yes. <laughs> Very important. Know your partner. Yeah. And what they so, are. I feel like, yeah, at the end of the day, we just want to make sure we communicate. Communication is key. So, yeah. as long as we know what's going mm-hmm. on, then I mean, hey, you go to our reality show, we're on the same page. But guess what? We're on a reality show, too. Exactly. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. social media um, <laughs> it's, it, it depends I mean social media is part of our daily lives now I feel like people make money on social media people live on social media so they feel like that's their way of connecting and sometimes when you don't have people to communicate your problems with social media is the only option to you know to to you know vent. Mm-hmm. to vent or you know just take off mm-hmm. whatever is you know mm-hmm. heavy on your heart so mm-hmm. i know i have done it so that's what i think okay but of course there's gray areas in yeah, yeah. it's not just black and white yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah but that's my opinion okay moving okay. on what do you think my huh okay well this is a bit personal to me but anyways um well i'm going to be honest i've done it before like i'll me and my partner will be going through something and then i mean i'll not post exactly what is going on with us but i'll go on google and look for specific <laughs> 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 So, but, but is that a situation where, like, 
he'll know, but no one else would know. So yes, so like, that's him. different. But like, no, you know, no, like people would know if you're posting about a relationship exactly. problem. Okay. Also, people okay. probably know. They'll know that I went through okay. something. But the fact that I did it too much, and then every time I post something, even though me and my partner are happy, they'll be like, they'll go to him like, <laughs> what did you do? What's going mm. on? Yada yada yada. So every yeah. time I posted something about just i like codes i like memes so I'll just post out yeah. we're okay we're home we're laughing whatever mm -hmm. and then i posted that something and then a friend of his i mean like a mutual friend of us mm -hmm. it was like and then later on in the evening went on a date so mm -hmm. i posted me and bay on a date night and then he came in my dms like oh that's good you're trying to like confuse people that you guys are not having issues by posting Who's a video of honest? you Why going on a yes. date i was like what the actual do you mean like we are okay it. i just posted that book right. because i like it it's not like because what i posted is what's going on in our mm, lives yeah. yeah so to me i mean it's wrong i've stopped it okay. it was hard because i got used to it mm. become a habit mm. but i don't feel like it's okay because i'm not doing it anymore so right. what do you think i think at this um um this age of of this life right now or the world right now mm -hmm. we put everything on social media we don't know. After <laughs> we don't. We all don't. We all understand. Don't. Yeah. At, at, well, you, you, you put something at some point. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. But I've done it. It is bad, but it's not right. That's okay. what I would say. Yeah. Um, I think it depends on your relationship and like how you handle social media. If you're like always posting everything about your relationship the good the bad the ugly then like i feel like people are gonna know it's just a moment in time but i think it'd be really bad to just like go on social media only to trash your man when you're mad and like not <laughs> <laughs> posting things um me personally i know that i have friends enemies lovers and haters on my instagram so i'm not gonna hand a hater a loaded gun or like have somebody who's like into my relationship now have like an in, you know I what I mean? Like yeah. crack the door open. Yeah, so exactly. like I personally will try to only post positive things, but that's that's just me. Mm -hmm. Of course, sometimes things slip. Sometimes you let a suggestive quote be in, like you know, but like you don't want to like let everyone know. Yeah. Like, you want to be like yeah. suggestive, yeah. like yeah. he knows, but like not everyone has to know that exactly. like yeah. he's in the doghouse, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, my, my opinion on it is I'm, I'm a very private person, so I would just never post anything about my man. You wouldn't even know if I have a boyfriend, right? <laughs> so, um, but that's just me. I feel like, again, like she said, like if your, if your relationship or if you're a social media influencer or whatever, and like your life is posting your business online, right? So that, that's one you should be okay with people, you know, then commenting about your, whatever you're posting because you're putting yourself out there. So you should be you should be ready for that kind of you know feedback, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if you if you are not like if you're a private person, then I don't think it really matters. I don't think it's an issue of right or wrong. It just depends on how comfortable you are with putting your dirty laundry. Because again, it's people are gonna talk about also it. Also, how yeah. important your relationship privacy is. That's true. I yeah, think it's exactly. different if it's like a first date or if it's like your fiance now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It depends. Um, yeah, so <laughs> in summary, yeah, like if, if, if you're a private person, you shouldn't feel pressure to post, post your dirty laundry on social media, just deal with it with your partner. Like not everybody needs to know what's going on in your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that's uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we never heard from you. Also, okay. I just want to just see if you, if you post things about your partner on social media, so those kind of relationships, they don't usually last because people will be choking their heads inside. I think yeah, it also yeah, depends yeah, yeah, on yeah. like how public the issue was like what if the issue was on a reality tv show you know yeah, what I mean? like people then you already talk about, about it yeah, so, yeah. Like, so yeah. it's like you have to address it but if it's like all oh, private then like something. you wouldn't have to yeah. talk about it i don't know well like people, you people only know as much as <laughs> I you tell, tell it out there. It. sorry <laughs> ella i think we missed you if you want to just give your point yes 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 well uh like Boma, i think i'm a pretty private person i mm -hmm. i don't think i would like to post my dirty laundry on social media i mean i barely even post the good things there because <laughs> that's true uh, I, don't like to be, I, I like to be vague uh, just let them have an idea but i don't want them to really know what is happening because people already talk a lot i don't need to give yeah, them yeah. i don't need to give them yeah, more yeah, things to talk about so but then i mean some people prefer to do that i have a lot of th i'm thankfully i have people i can talk to about my problems i have good people around me so mm -hmm. i'd rather go to them privately 
because social media is the good, the bad, the ugly. So you, you might even get like bad advice or something that even depress you more or make your problems worse. So mm -hmm. I think I'd rather just keep it personal. Oh yeah, so we have a familiar face. You guys have probably seen her on a few episodes. Her name is Glory. Welcome, Glory. Hi guys. Hey. Hey. guys. Hey. Hey. Gorgeous as usual. Thank you. So what do you think, Glory? About? Do you it's think awkward. that it's okay to air your dirty laundry on social media? No, actually no. Never? Ever, ever, ever. Like I feel like it's a in-person thing. Sit down. My motto is a lot of adult conversation can clear up a lot of childish misunderstandings. So mm. There's really no point for you to like <laughs> come on social media and like blah, 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 blah. Because at the end of the day, you'll be tired though. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just going to keep on going on and on. So no, no, absolutely no. Yes, but I also get like social media people who do it because like it's yeah, you that's your whole life. Well, not even, like, not even yeah, media, not like, even that. Fun. Like people who have YouTube channels that they talk no, with really. their partners and stuff. Like your that is your career, right? That's yeah. your dude. So yeah. I understand like. But then you get that really like, like, But I also think it's like sometimes people who make vlogs, right? That's media and business. and business mixing together. What if you're using it as like an educational thing? Like you're like, this is the problem we have. This is how we fixed it. Like. You well, like, well, that's, that's, that's different. That's like after you've had the problem, and then you come and talk yeah. about how to fix it. Not like you're fighting okay, <laughs> true. with the person on social media. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think it's okay to air your dirty laundry on social media? I don't think we should say it's okay. Yeah. I think is are you comfortable? Okay. Well, then again, let's say, then again, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. Right or wrong. I don't think it's a problem too, because like like I yeah. said, I'm personal. I have people to talk yeah. to. Some people don't have friends. They don't yeah. have people mm -hmm. to talk to. It's a choice. Social media might be their only outlets to yeah. like vent about this place yeah. or have like other people's point of view and so. yeah, also let's not forget COVID-19 has made exactly. things worse yeah. yeah. especially to interact with people personally mm -hmm. because the only thing we have right now is social media yeah. you know mm -hmm. zoom and you know all yeah. these We're platforms that social. we only use you know virtually because of the social distancing yeah. so that also affected a lot of people especially I was talking to one of my friends and he said uh the most booked People right now is psychologists and therapists oh, yeah. okay. because people are going through depression because Absolutely. there's no human interaction. Absolutely. So the only way they can go to is social, social media, media. and sometimes you don't get the best advice. Like you just said, mm -hmm. it may make your relationship worse. Yeah. So yeah. and there's a sub, sub like for me, I'm in a yeah. group on social on Facebook. It's for support system because that's my only support system. Right. Per se, because mm -hmm. not everybody has you know family or yeah, friends, friends that you can talk to so it all depends with the situation and yeah what uh what yeah, going yeah. on in your life yeah so, yeah, yeah. yeah. so what do you guys think is social media a safe space are we able to go on social media just let it all out and just let the chips fall where they may do you feel comfortable posting your dirty laundry on social media and um, <laughs> yeah, I think those are our topics for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we would love it if you leave a comment as usual. Like, like subscribe. Like, yes, and suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. If there's stuff that you want us to talk about, like just like yeah, start a dialogue in the comments. We'll exactly, respond. we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. And yes, and um, well, well, thank yeah. you for watching. <laughs> Just, Just to win the African Canadians.